Today I fricked up by taking a picture of my wife's ass. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Griffin D, and today we're covering 5 Today I Fricked Up Stories. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy the video. Today I fricked up by complimenting a girl's skirt. Happened a couple weeks ago, I was at a party and saw a girl across the room, she was wearing a skirt, holding a drink in one hand and had the other hand in her pocket. I saw her skirt, thought to myself how cool that skirt is having pockets. A lot of women I know complain about not having pockets, so this is a very progressive thing. A bit later, I got around to talking to her. I complimented her skirt, and how pockets in a skirt is great. She looked very confused, said my skirt doesn't have pockets. Why would you think that? I mentioned that I had seen her earlier with her hand in her pocket. Her face went bright red and revealed that her hand was amputated. What I thought was her hand in her pocket, was her stump resting against her hip. I apologized immediately, but luckily she thought it was funny, because she'd never heard that comment before. I'm still dying inside though. Today I fricked up by making a girl I like laugh so hard she ended up in hospital and I almost lost my job. So there's this girl I like at work, and we're really good friends. We're having lunch and we're making those ironic depression meme jokes as most friends do. For some reason I, in my unknowingly, stupid way to get her laugh, got the idea to say well hey, you know what's just one letter away from sad, dab, and promptly did the deed. Also I have ability to cry on demand so I just stared stone cold her and let two tears fall down. She finds it funny, extremely funny. So funny she drops to the floor and starts laughing her ass off. After a good 30 seconds she starts grabbing her chest and coughing. I asked if she was okay when she starts wheezing and begins to convulse a bit. Freaking the frick out and thinking she's having a damn seizure. I start to reach for my phone. And in the exact second, my manager randomly decides to come in. And sees this big guy towering over this poor little girl on the floor. I only managed to cut off her impending rage by saying I think she's having a seizure and I'm calling 911. Fortunately, I was able to explain to her what happened after the ambulance came. Turns out she has asthma, and my joke caused a flare up, and was waving her arms to try to tell me to get her inhaler. Whoops. Today I fricked up by not looking before I sat down. Floor rate of the of place my employment, inside the men's is shitter. I'm sitting there, doing my sit down business. Because boss makes a dollar, I make a dime. I've just finished the dirty work and I'm about to perform my ablutions, but I delay it, because it's a paid to shit thing, donging around on reddit a bit. At this point I feel something jump onto my balls, something I had never hoped I would ever experience, let alone talk about on the internet. I shriek, not a barbarian shriek, not a viking shriek, psycho shower scene shriek, a huntsman spider has crawled out of the toilet bowl and jumped onto my low hanging fruit. I bat the spider off, smacking myself in the nuts, keel over in pain, spider dead, good news, my banshee wail has not gone unanswered, bad news, someone comes into the bathroom and knocks on the store door, mate are you alright, have you fallen over, I'll call an ambulance, no, fine, everything, is, good, just slipped, fine, no need to call an ambulance, you can leave now, I flush the world's smallest sexual predator to try and retain some of my inner pride, wash my hands, and make the very very long walk back to my desk. My manager's desk isn't too far from the bathrooms, and he comes up to me afterwards. What happened in there? Is everyone alright? Yeah, everyone's fine. And then I make the dumbest decision of my life, and explain to him what had happened, and the audacity of the man. He laughs, he laughs so hard he has to sit down so he doesn't hurt himself. His hyena, kookaburra hybrid laughter has gotten the attention of some of the other members of my team. They're looking to get in on the funny, funny joke, bossman wheezes get, get him to, tell them holy shit, and, because I'm incredibly susceptible to peer pressure, I tell them, like a freaking gimp, I'm gonna skip past most of the laughter, because it went on for what felt like forever. I come back from lunch, and Bossman and two other members of my team come up to me as I'm sitting back down at my desk getting ready to get back to work. Bossman is holding a piece of paper. Look, we need to have a chat about something. I've brought two of your friends in the team as support since this is obviously not something that's easy to talk about. I am confused. I have a blank HR report here. I'll need you to fill this out. You confided into me that you were sexually harassed in the workplace and it's my duty of care to make sure the perpetrator is brought to justice. Under the space where it says which hand did they assault you with, 
just put x8. We understand this is a traumatic experience for you and I just want you to know that every resource we have is here for you. Today I fricked up by thinking divorce was an April Fool's gag. Let me preface this off by blaming all of you, the entirety of Reddit for desensitizing me, and giving me major trust issues on April Fool's Day. So here it goes. Yesterday I got a group text from my wife Sarah's side of the family stating there was an emergency family meeting happening that night over dinner at my mother-in-law's, Bob, house. I immediately had April Fool's spidey senses starting to tingle, but we haven't all got together since Christmas so I overlooked it and said we, my wife and I, were in. We were the last to arrive and it was pretty somber when we walked in. We all sat down at the table and my wife's brother, Tim, informed the family that his wife Ashley has been having an affair and they are divorcing. The affair was with a longtime close family friend, Chris, who lived a block away. Chris's wife, Jen, had caught them when she came home early one day last week and broke the news to my brother-in-law Tim. Both families have been friends for years. They live less than a block from each other. They each have been married for 15 plus years. Have four kids right around the same age. Honestly, I have always thought both of them were picture-perfect families. Hell, all four of them and their kids were at our house two weeks ago for a BBQ. Anyways after airing a lot of dirty laundry, and their plans to divorce, how it could affect future family functions, and opening it up to the group of any questions, there was silence. I broke the silence with laughter and a slow clap, saying this was the best April Fool's gag I've ever seen, but I wasn't falling for it. I told Ashley and especially Tim they need to consider going into theatre. Their performances were top notch and tears seemed genuine. Being the newest member of the family, my wife and I married six months ago. This was probably not the best thing to say in hindsight. I probably should not have said anything. Everyone in the room looked horrified. My mother-in-law, who had been crying the entire time, lost all composure. She left the room in hysterics and did not return before we left. Tim just shook his head and his cheating wife actually let out a brief chuckle before calling me out for being a dumbass for thinking this was a ruse, then berating me for being so insensitive. The rest of the family sat in silence shaking their heads as my wife berated me for trying to make a joke out of a serious situation. I am still dumbfounded, in hindsight. I probably should have sat in silence, but I honestly still feel like I was calling out an April Fool's gag. My brother-in-law's wife has been cheating on him. They told the family they are getting divorced, I broke the awkward silence with a slow clap and laughter saying I'm no April Fool. Today I fricked up by taking a picture of my wife's ass. This happened about a week ago. I took my wife to Barnes & Noble to get some new books for us to read. I was half-half-heartedly looking at different books while trailing my wife throughout the store. At some point I realize my wife is nowhere to be seen. But whatever I'll find her eventually. After a few minutes of mindless wandering. I notice her on the other side of the store. I also notice that her butt looks really good in the jeans she's wearing. So as I'm walking up towards her, phone camera zoomed in on her butt. I hear someone behind me shout hey creep, why are you taking a picture of that girl's ass? I turn around to see an employee as the source of the shouting, and look towards my wife who is clutching her sides, laughing her ass off. I try to explain that the woman is my wife, but the employee was having none of it. My wife finally came to my rescue when the manager came up and said that I had to leave. She explained that we were indeed married and even showed her the picture of us on our wedding day she keeps in her purse. The employee apologizes profusely, and of course we plead with the manager not to reprimand her for her outburst as the manager called it. Honestly I'm glad she said something as someone from the outside seeing this guy, following a girl around the store and then taking a picture of said girl's ass. It was just a wrong place, wrong time kind of thing. But my wife has started telling me don't get caught this time whenever we go out. She's told just about everyone we know. And in lovingly referred to as the ass man in our friend group now. Please subscribe if you like the video. It really helps the channel to grow. Adios.